Hey there, baseball fans. Nathan Rohde, Shooter Hunt, and Rob Allison here with the latest episode of Coffee and Curveballs. Shooter, obviously with Rob Allison on the show today, we got some big stuff coming out of the upper Midwest. Yeah, I mean, you have the great Rob Allison on the show. That means you're getting some big Minnesota action, some Iowa action, and a sneaky third state on the way. What's up, Rob? So what do we got? Everything is going good. Thanks for having me on, guys. We're pumped to have you on here for the first time, Rob, but I was really upset that I didn't get to come out to the Minnesota preseason All-State event. It's about 200-plus kids over two days. It's been great in the past. What did you have this year? First off, we had Miles Halligan and mm. Connor Kirkhoffner, uh, guys that we've uh, previously seen in the past. They come out right away in their bullpens last Sunday, uh, both upper 80s, touching 91, athletic arms, still uncommitted. Uh, so they should be receiving a lot of traction here in the very near future. Yeah, those two guys are future games players that we've seen in the past, look like potential starters at the next level. I'm sure a lot of schools will be locked in on them throughout the spring and into the summer. But you also had a 2021 catcher out of Minnesota that was making a name for himself. For sure. Will Rogers, a uh, sophomore catcher from Mountains View High School. Mm. Always a uh, traditionally strong program in the state. You know, Athletic kid. He, I believe he ran like a 701, mm. 60. 80 miles an hour from behind the dish, sub two pop times, has some strength in the bat, and he's going to start to gather a lot of attention as well. Excellent. Then we got another 2021. Shooter alluded to it, a sneaky third state. What do you got coming out of South Dakota? There's good guys always to be had in South Dakota. You just have to be able to find them. Um, (laughs) Jake Goebel showed up to our event from Rapid City, South Dakota. Jake is 6'5", 220, right-handed pitcher, first baseman. You're definitely not going to miss him when he walks (laughs) through the uh, door at the end of the day. Um, Gets on the mound. uh, Started out 85. Velocity kept ticking up, 86, 87. Finished off his bullpen at 89. Um, I think the sky's the limit for Jake Goble. Oh, wow. That's impressive. From another impressive event, I'm sure there were some sick Letty, some good haircuts working there in Minnesota as well. Um, but Iowa is going to be the last state that gets into high school play. They start about the third week of May each year and try, and play into the summer uh, to get to that nice weather. But at our preseason event in Iowa, there were some big names there, including a guy that we've seen in the past committed to TCU. Carter Baumler, 6'3", multi-sport guy, super athletic. As you said, committed to TCU, up to 92 on the mound. Mm. The impressive thing about his bullpen is he just sat 91-92 every fastball. The arm strength is continuing to improve, and you couple that with the athleticism, and he's going to be a really good guy, probably heavy draft consideration Mm. uh, here next year. Yeah, mi- minimal effort out of uh, Carter Baumler, and I think there's a lot more in the tank. But one of the guys that I was locked in on Twitter and kept seeing pop up was Brody Breck, 2021. First time we saw Brody was back in August. Definitely an athletic kid. Started for 4A Ankeny High School as a freshman, which is no small feat in the big mm. class here in Iowa. He runs a 6'6", 3, 92 from the outfield. And then decided to get on the mound and be 89 to 91. <laughs> Multi-sport guy. Uh, already has Division One football offers as a wide receiver. It's going to be really interesting with him in the recruiting process. Does he go football only? Does he ultimately decide to just play baseball? Mm-hmm. Or does he be- become one of those interesting multi-sport guys for a university here, there, or wherever it may be? For sure. And what about Jackson Wentworth? Wentworth committed to Kansas State here uh, about six weeks ago. Definitely Mm -hmm. has made a ton of strides. Athletic kid. Set a new event record at the Iowa event. I think it was 92 across the infield. It translates on the mound as well. Uh, Upper 80s, above average breaking ball. Um, I think ultimately he's probably a legitimate two-way guy at this point for uh, K-State. 
Interesting. And then catch us up on one of my favorite guys, Calvin Harris, an Ole Miss commit in the 20 class, who you'll see in the 2020 overall rankings in the future. You know, Calvin Harris maybe doesn't pass the eye test all the time. You know, he's a multi-sport kid as well. All-state quarterback in football, averages over 12 points a game in basketball. Mm. You know, everything is three to four months at a time for him as far as transitioning from sports. He just simply barrels baseballs at the plate. He has arm strength. I believe he was 82, 84 out of the crouch. Okay. Um, and then at the end of the day, I think he's going to be a multi-position guy for Ole Miss. Mm. I think he can catch um, left field, second base. Um, I think you and I talked about it earlier, Shooter. At the end of the day, he's like a left-handed hitting Craig Biggio. Yeah, just it, it, his skills play up, and he's just going to find those barrels, like you said, and love the energy from a three-sport guy like that. I was always got multi-sport kids with high ceilings. Excellent. Well, good stuff, Rob. Before we let you go, i got to sneak, sneak in a 2019 question. Is Stillwater High School the automatic favorite for a state championship with Drew Gilbert and Will Frisch on the mound? Uh, that is 100% correct. We're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to throw them into the fire, put some pressure on them, you know, but they even, I mean, obviously having two arms like that at the front of your rotation gives you a legitimate chance of winning some games, but you can troll down their roster even farther. You know, you have guys like Gavin Zern, Mm. uh, a future games guy last year as a freshman in high school. And it continues on from there. You know, Stillwater is definitely beyond blessed and excited to be uh, moving into uh, the 2019 spring season, I'm sure. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you joining us today, and we look forward to your coverage throughout the rest of the spring. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Rob. All right, Shooter, let's wrap things up with the Bomb Squad in Spin Zone. Who do you got for the PBR Bomb Squad? One of my favorite of the year so far, Jamari Baylor, 2019, out of Virginia. Going to be a, a good MLB draft name. Not just one, but two out of Baylor. Excellent. Moving to the state of Texas, we got the number one player in the country, Bobby Witt Jr., who's on an absolute tear and hits this absolute nuke for Toby Bicknell. And then we head out to the Pacific Northwest. Corbin Carroll asking for time, doesn't get it. That's okay. See ya. <laughs> so that's your PBR bomb squad for this week. Let's take a look at PBR spin zone now. We got a Texas duo here, both committed to the University of Texas. Andre Tuplantier, real good athlete with a quick arm. Put that bender on in there. And then Trey Faltine in the Houston area dropping one in as well. Could be Texas teammates. Excellent stuff. As always, keep up with the latest happenings in high school baseball with Coffee and Curveballs and check out for more content on PrepBaseballReport.com. For Shooter Hunt, I'm Nathan Rohde. This was Coffee and Curveballs, and until next time, we'll see you guys at the ballpark.